2019 could be the year that electric vehicles take over the streets. With new developments in not just aesthetic features like comfort and design, but huge advancements in range and power, the vehicles on the market today are on another level. I'm Glenn, and today we're bringing you the top 10 electric vehicles to check out in 2019. Number 10. The Rumble has been in development over the last three years, but a successful Indiegogo campaign last year raised over $28,000 and meant that consumers could finally get their hands on one. Rumble Motors label this bike as having a cafe racer style design. So they wanted to get a lightweight scooter optimized for speed and handling rather than comfort. As a result, the Rumble's max speed is 40 miles per hour and it weighs in at just 231 pounds. This makes it perfect for quick trips or a short commute. Priced at $3,490, the Rumble is surprisingly affordable. Number 9. At first glance, the Harley-Davidson Livewire almost doesn't look like an electric vehicle. The gorgeous frame, made of lightweight aluminum, state-of-the-art touchscreen display, and Scorcher sports tires are what catches the eye. The giveaway is, of course, the bright silver magnet electric motor nestled beneath the battery. The motor is placed there to lower the center of gravity for easier handling. The Livewire tries to promote itself as the world's most connected motorcycle, and motorheads can check bike stats like battery charge status and riding activity using the Harley-Davidson app. The newest 2020 model isn't expected to hit the streets until August of this year, but pre-orders are available starting at $29,799. Number 8. Porsche's first all-electric four-seat sports car, the Taycan, previously called the Mission E, is set to begin production this year. Upon first glance, there's no mistaking that the Taycan is a Porsche. Its general design, the dimensions and sleek aesthetic are all typical features of the German manufacturer. It has a very clean design with a low front end. An attractive air curtain guides air around the front wheels under the four-point headlights, and it has rear hinged back doors for easy access to the two rear seats. The innovative interior features a new type of holographic display and bucket seats with a sporty design. Porsche plans to produce 20,000 cars per year and claims it already has enough pre-orders to cover all units for its first year of production. With an estimated price of $230,000, that's impressive. Number seven. The Tesla semi-driver seat looks more like a train control room than a traditional truck driver seat. The semi has a center driver position, making it easier than ever for a truck driver to have full visibility and control. The truck comes with Tesla Autopilot and two digital screens either side of the wheel so that the driver can see all the latest stats. Not only is it functional, but it's comfortable. The driver can fully stand up inside the control room and even store their bags in either an airplane-style overhead locker or the little trunk hidden in the nose of the truck. The 300-mile range version costs $150,000, while the 500-mile range version costs $180,000. However, Tesla claims that the Semi provides over $200,000 in fuel savings so it can virtually pay for itself within two years of ownership. Number 6 Looking somewhat like a modified Fiat 500 is the Sono Sion. The little dots visible across the car on its sides, roof, rear, and the hood are solar cells. That's because this is the first mass-produced electric car that can charge its battery using solar power. Same as the Rumble, the Sono Sion is another project that came to life thanks to a successful crowdfunding campaign. It raised over $600,000 back in 2016 and promised to deliver a family-friendly car with at least 150 miles of range. Pricing for the Sion starts at $18,200, excluding the solar battery pack. Number five. The Fisker eMotion EV gives off a Tesla-type vibe, but with a more aggressive air. The front end's futuristic form almost appears like the car is snarling, ready to hit the road. 
It can go 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds, putting the Porsche Taycan's 3.5 seconds to shame. Not only is it faster, but over 100 grand cheaper, as the Fisker starts at just $129,000. It features a new battery, which is a solid-state lithium metal design, allowing the car to be operated in weather as cold as minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit, as well as giving the car a range of over 400 miles. The Fisker also comes equipped for style and comfort, with butterfly doors and a four or five seat option. What truly sets this vehicle apart is the technology on offer, with an advanced autonomous driving system and not one, not two, but three display screens at the front from which to control all this. Number four. Looking at the ZB, it's easy to imagine that 20 years from now, these might be the new kings of the road in Thailand. The ZB looks remarkably like a traditional tuk-tuk with its three wheels and scooter-like mobility. The vehicle sits up to three people, including the driver, and can load up to 370 pounds for a range of almost 50 miles. It only costs around a dime for a six-mile drive. That makes it perfect for quick, easy trips, especially for zipping around in urban areas. The company's primary target is the major taxi companies in India. ZB's prices fluctuate depending on the region. They are currently being sold in Sweden for around $9,600, while in India, the cost is around $4,200. Number three. Unveiled as the first luxury electric superbike, the Sora by Lido looks like something right out of the Tron video game. It features thick handlebars, an aircraft-grade aluminum frame, and a showpiece round front headlight. Powered by 12 kilowatt-hour lithium polymer battery modules, the Sora has a range of 124 miles in the city, or 62 miles on the highway, and can take around nine hours for charging. In many ways, it's a beefed-up version of the Rumble e-bike. The Sora can reach a top speed of 118 miles per hour, and can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in just under four seconds. The base model of the Sora starts at $77,000, while the Signature Series will set you back $104,000. Number two. The Triple falls somewhere in between a cargo bike and an ice resurfacer. It's an electric vehicle used for transporting goods like small packages for that last mile. Looking at just the front, it seems a bit like a mini truck with its thick hood and two straight-facing front headlights. With two wheels up front and only one at the rear, it seems as though it might topple forward with a heavy load. But the Danish manufacturer says it can handle a weight of 440 pounds. The triple has a range of 62 miles and a max speed of 27 miles per hour. Its small size means it can move through car-free zones and offers a variety of use cases from facility management to construction site tool transport. The standard battery takes eight hours to charge, but Triple also has a super fast charger that only takes four and a half hours. Pricing on this model is around $14,000. Number one. The ETT Raker looks more like a DIY project than a high-end electric scooter. The eye is immediately drawn to the central frame, which has cut out geometric shapes and bold color. It looks completely different from other electric scooters on the market. Running on a 72 volt lithium ion battery, the ETT Raker has a 70 mile range and a top speed of 28 miles per hour. The scooter is lightweight at just 165 pounds and a standard charge only takes five hours. One of the particularly fun things about owning an ETT Raker is that you can 3D print a wide range of accessories, like a cup holder or a storage compartment. It's practical too. If one of the bike's plastic parts needs replacing, you can do it from home. Priced at $4,450, it shows how far electric vehicles have come. This episode of Mind's Eye Design is brought to you by Zetylus Stinger, an emergency escape tool that can save your life with a sharp razor to cut your seatbelt, a two-stage spring-loaded window punch, and can even be used a phone charger in your car. For more information on this product, the link is in the description below.
Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.